Okay, so we're going to be making this um, this logo here, this kind of classic cars logo with the uh, the car and the text and the yellow background, etc., etc. So that's what we're going to do now. And what you need, obviously, is that car image. So in your OneNote, you can see I've got this uh, file already in there called Chevrolet Chevrolet Bel Air. Just right click on it, save as, and then you can download it into a folder, or you might download directly into your downloads folder doesn't matter as long as you know where it is and you can get to it click save okay so I put mine into a folder and there you can see our Chevy Bel Air now if I just right click on it so I'm going to right click on my the image I've downloaded I'm going to use this uh, where is it open with that's what I have to open with I'm going to need to use Adobe Photoshop CS5 so you might have to search for it or, or look for the app within the uh, the listings you've got here But we need to find Adobe Photoshop CS5, click on it, and you see it opens up like that. Okay, so a good tip is when you're making logos is to get the uh, get an image which has you know got a white background or something you can easily take uh, our kind of subjects off, in this case the car. So I want to remove obviously all this white background. You know, if it had lots of trees in it, it you know, or, or lots of other things going on in the background, make it quite difficult to cut that out, which is what we're going to do. So first things first on the right hand side here you can see we've got this kind of padlock so just double click on the, the background I'm just going to unlock that to make it uh, kind of usable so that's unlocked we've got the the car now what we need to do is start sort of like cutting it out um, ready to be used in our, in our logo so there's lots of different tools you can use in Photoshop to, to do that and what we're going to be using is this one up here um, the fourth one down it might be already set to that but what we need is if you click on it magic one tool and you can see it's that magic one tool that's what we're going to be using now this tolerance at the top there just set that to 10 as you can see I've got that done already so I've set that to 10 and I'm going to click on the white background like that so you can see it's just highlighted the white uh, which I want it to do so all I'm going to need to do is click delete okay Now we've got a transparent background, so once you've done that, it's quite difficult to see what's left over. So, over here in your layers, what we're going to do is come down to the bottom next to the, uh, the the trash can or whatever you want to call it, create a new layer, and you can see we've got another layer on top. This is what makes Photoshop so good, is you can put things on top of each other and, and layer uh, your compositions. So I'm going to click and drag it because I want it to be underneath I want this to be a black background okay the reason I want it to be black is because I want to see what's left when I've started cutting things out so I'm going to come over to this here the colors down the bottom left now what I want is I'm going to turn that to black make sure it's on the right layer come up to the paint bucket it might be gradient first look for the gradient and then paint bucket and I'm just going to fill that with black and you can see there's quite a bit of white left uh, uh, over underneath there so what I'm going to do select my magic one tool again make sure I select my car tool uh, my car layer and I'm going to carry on just deleting as much as I can by using this tool here the magic one tool so it's really you have to be careful when you're doing it so just make sure you're selecting that color a bit more over here so it's getting rid of it slowly and a bit at the back as well so I'm not going to get rid of all of it you can take your time if you want just removing it just be careful it doesn't select any of the car so it's just selecting that color underneath now once you're happy with that if you just click control D and it deselects it now you can still see there's little bits um, pixels left over what you can use is this eraser tool here the eraser tool and you can just get rid of you know any little artifacts as they're called and just tidy it up doing that okay I'm not gonna be quite so fussy I'm just gonna leave it like that right okay so 
what I need to do, I need to resize my uh, my car because I'm quite happy I've cut it out, but I need to resize it, make it a bit smaller. So at the top under edit, I'm going to find this thing called free transform. Okay, I'm going to free transform. You can see it's put this box around it. So I can grab the corners and I can start moving it into to resize to make sure it stays the same thing, the same aspect ratio, it doesn't squash it. Just select shift on your keyboard on the left hand side by caps lock. It's the one with the arrow pointing up and then just click on your mouse and just drag it like that. Okay, so it doesn't squash it, it just keeps the, the size as is. And then just hit enter on your keyboard. So I've resized it. If I go to my arrow tool at the top here, I can move it like that. There we go. So it's smaller, it's in the middle, and now all I need to do is put my, my, my background on. And in this case, it's going to be a nice bright yellow background. So to start with, I need another layer. So on the right hand side here, I'm going to click on my layers, on new layer. And again, it always puts it at the top, but I want it in between my car, which is here, and my black background, which is there. And then I need to choose what color I want it to be. So I've got this, if I click down there, I've got this yellow, quite a bright yellow, which is what I plan to use. Uh, obviously you can move your sliders, you might want to change it to something slightly different depending on your, your preference. Click OK and you can see it's yellow. Now over here you've got other tools like rectangle, you've got rounded rectangle. We're interested in this ellipse. Okay, So you can see it goes into this kind of crosshair. If I just position it up here, again I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard. I'm going to click and drag like that. So I need it to be bigger than the car. Okay, like that. Oh, let me just step back a second actually. If I just undo that, edit, step backward, just make sure when you do your, your shape that you've got that box there. Okay, not that one there with the little things on the edges, that one. So I'm going to do that again. So I've got my yellow, got my ellipse, I've got that shape there, that selection. Position it, click shift, and click and drag on your mouse. Okay, good. And then all I need to do is use my move tool to get it in the right space like that. So you can get it like that. You can use your up and down keys on your keyboard as well to position it. Right, that's good. That's in the right place. Now, what I'm going to do on this yellow uh, shape, I'm going to add my big thick white border by coming down to the bottom here, making sure it's on that, that layer down the bottom and I click on effects and then you can see it's got this stroke the first one I'm going to click on that right so these are your settings for the stroke at the minute you can see it's only three pixels and it's black right for a start I need to stand out so I'm going to go white so again click on the color go to white you can see there's a very faint stroke around the edge and that's where I'm going to pop this up to around about I don't know, let's have a look yeah, I'm going for 38 there, right about 38. That's so you can see it stands out nicely. Click OK, wonderful. There you go. Now I've got my car, I've got my background. All I need to do is put some text on it. So I'm going to select text on the T side, on the on here on the side, the T. And then I just need to find the new, create a new layer here, and then start putting in the right place. There you go. So. I am going to choose, I'm going to have white there, and I'm going to have, well it needs to be quite big, so it's popped up to about 48, and I've gone for this script MT bold, okay, now obviously your choice, you know, it's up to you, but, you know, text is, the, the font you use makes a massive difference to the design, uh, so I'm going to go for a classic cars, like that, okay, so, it looks a bit small, so I'm just going to click and drag, highlight it all. It's going to bring it up a little bit more. It's going to go to 60. That's a bit better. Okay. So I click on my arrow tool over here. There you go. And then I can just move it to where I want it to, to go. Classic cars. It doesn't stand out very well. You might want to use a different color. What I'm going to do is the same process that I did before. I am going to change the color of my text to yellow. So I'm going to click, make sure I've got my the right layer selected, come back over to my T, click on it, then just drag it all the way across. So I'm going to change this to the same yellow. 
Now the easy way of doing it, if you just click on the colour and you get this kind of like, because that drop dropper there. Right, that selects it for me. Okay, it's disappeared. It's the same colour. Great. So what I'm going to do, use my arrow. Again, come down here. Click stroke. It's black. That looks rubbish. Let's change it to white. There we go. That's that's better. Okay. So there you go. So I've got my classic card. I've got my, my a text. I've got this background here. You know, it's pretty not together kind of logo, but does the job. Um, like that there. Okay. So what you need to do, just print screen what you've created in here. And then I want you to move on to the next task where you're going to be, you know, changing things. Maybe using, uh, you can still use this shape if you want. Maybe change the color on the background. Maybe change, you know, the stroke. Definitely get the image which is going to be appropriate to your business. Try and cut it out and just place it in there. There's lots of things you can play around with in Photoshop. You can play around with uh, the effects. There's loads of different filters and things like that you can get involved in. But the main thing is to create your logo like that with the text, with the image, change the colors, and that's what I want you to do in the next task.